Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, Alan, Dave, Winslow, Thomas, J.W., Fred, Joe, John? Thank you all for being in the trading room today. I appreciate it. For those who don't know, this is Rick, which I think everybody here knows. And today is Friday, June 16th, 2023. I want to remind everybody that today is uh, triple, quadruple witching, which means a whole lot of options come to today is what that means. I also want to remind everybody that Monday is a market holiday. So we have a three-day weekend here, okay? Uh, so let's be reminded of that. Good morning, Tyler. How are you? Um, I need, oh, um, today for those that, here, let's go look at this real quick. I, I had an insane amount of emails uh, asking me more about the CVS trade and how we got out of it with some money in our pocket rather than money taken out of our pocket. So we'll, we, we'll talk about that this morning. Just somebody has to remind me, okay? I may forget, but I'll certainly try and we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more. We'll definitely do that. Um, what else was there? Oh yeah. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I need you guys. I need your help here. Do we have any um, trade ideas, anything about the market, um, because I did not prepare anything for this morning. Uh, right now, I see the overall market is still bullish. These bullish is, these bulls are still ringing the bell. They, uh, they are strong. They are determined. There is no doubt in my mind that at one point here, one day here, someday ending in the letter Y, um, we will start to see some sort of a pullback that will be more than a minor pullback. I'm sure of that. Trying to predict when it's going to happen without price action clues is just insane. Trying to, uh, or worrying about it, fretting about it, well, that's just as insane. Uh, so, I, you know... What I propose is we just simply calmly, very quietly, calm is the big, big thing, just follow the chart and we'll start to see clues in the price action when that happens. We'll definitely see those, okay? So, um, let's see, Winslow, you're still in CBS. So, for those that got into CBS up here somewhere, you got banged up pretty hard here. Some folks are staying in it. Winslow's one. Came back very nice yesterday. Um, it's really looking good for a comeback here. Not a chart that I would be buying, but uh, not at the moment anyway. But uh, Winslow, I'm rooting for you, okay? I'm really rooting for you. Hey, good morning, Mai. Let's see Tyler. Let's look at CT, CTLT. Nice chart. Look at that. So um, what I'm kind of liking about this chart is that gap up. Actually, what I'm liking is this right here. Let me get my let's start over. Control L for tools. I don't know why Control L would be for tools, but it is. See that gap down right here? And then that gap up right here. I like that. Boom. Gap down. All the the weak hands finally give up. We're done. We're cooked. We're baked. You can't take any more money from me. I'm out of here. Okay. This is where smart money comes to work right here. That's where real smart money or patient money, maybe, maybe it doesn't have to be smart money, but patient money starts coming to work in here. And then there's so much in there. There's, there's a gap up. And then here we start moving sideways, and this is the bottom that we're starting to put in. Nice, here's a nice move up. Look at that beautiful chart. And then all of a sudden, you know, there's like this, this, this wake up, this, uh, oh, look, hey, CTL, this thing could rock. So what happens is more traders want into this, and that's what happens here. And then... Here we are, man. Now here's the, the trade setup. A nice bottom, lower highs, uh, higher lows, higher lows, higher highs. We've got this beautiful little flag setup here. Um, 
Price is above the T-line, T-line above the trend indicator. Price is now above the 50 period moving average. That looks beautiful. Now on top of that, we've got this gap over here that, um, first of all, I'm not one of these traders that thinks all gaps must get refilled. I, I, I don't believe in that. However, I do believe if we get up in the gap, then it's easier for price to maneuver. So here's here. This would be kind of like the first trade I would be looking at something like that. And then the second trade, something like that. And by the way, that could be all one trade. You just have to reevaluate at that level right there. Cause that's the level that they thought about it. Oh, we don't want to gap down. We want to move up. And now we want to move up. We want, we don't want to go down. Nope. Nope. We want to go up and then they give up. So that's kind of an important line. Super nice chart. I'm going to flag that. Thanks, Tyler. <laughs> Doing the Jedi mind trick. <laughs> I'd like to do the Jedi mind trick to the to the charts. Anyone else have any charts you want to take a peek at? Anybody? Anyone have anything? Uh, I'm I'm still holding this PFE. Uh, 15, 17, 18 percent. No, that's not it. PFE. P. -F yeah. Uh, Almost 18, 17.98% profit on it. It'll be more uh, this morning. I'll be a clear 18% when we open up here. So still holding this PFE, putting a nice bottom in here. This is a rounded bottom breakout. Um, still looks like it moves moves up. Um, around 40.70. We need to clear that. And then I think we go to 42. Then, of course, we can move up here. Uh, to that uh, 200 period moving average. Hey, JW, you're looking at spot. Let's take a peek at spot. Not sure how, who else is looking at spot. Beautiful trend. Can't deny that. Uh, extraordinarily, extraordinary trend, actually. Um, man, those are some great charts that trend up like that. Then all we want to do is look for those light little pullbacks here. And that's just what it's doing. Beautiful. Bullish and golf, we're starting to get some follow through. I want to I want to go to a weekly chart over here. So here's a weekly chart, and you know if we push up here, there's resistance. Remember, resistance is a target. Targets are resistance, and uh, so there's a nice little, we'll call it 212. We start running into this price action right here. Um, I always respect major moving averages. So there's the 200 period moving average. Now let's move on back to the daily chart because that's where I would look to trade it. So right there are two targets, two resistance areas that I would look at on this um, on this chart here. Some folks may, may want to wait till it breaks out. That makes sense. Some folks want to buy it right now. That makes sense too. It all comes down to you and your strategy. But anybody looking at this to chart to buy, we're all trying to negotiate a price in about that level right there. So great looking chart. I think I'll flag that one too. Thank you very much. A PLTR was another one. Let's see here. PLTR. A beautiful trend up here. That's doing a great job. Those that are in it, stay in it. It's looking like a buy to me right now. Um, you know, anyone concerned about this top? The, the, trading is so simple. It really is. When you're thirsty, get a glass of water. You know, um, when you're when you're when you're drowning in the shallow end of the pool, just stand up. Uh, trading is is really really easy. So you just have to realize that you're 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 not making money in this area right here this this is not unless you're a day trader day trader scalper scalp scalper um that's not your world necessarily what you're looking for is a chart that moves higher swing traders position traders you know that's what you want right here it's not about this so it's not hard to say 
Well, for some traders, man, yesterday would have been a super buy. Today's a buy, follow through off yesterday's bullish and candle, based on the candle that we currently see right here. Now, some traders, they're going to say, well, I can't buy this till it, you know, I'm running up against this line, uh, whatever that high is, uh, 1716. You see that as resistance. Hey, that's no problem. Just stand up in the pool. That's all. Wait till it breaks out. It's not difficult. This is not where you make money. This is where you, you negotiate your entry. And there's people that negotiated an entry way at this low, at this low. There are some people that at, at the highs, there are people that negotiated the entry at the high. We're all looking for it to swing up. This is just the negotiation area. So learn to be a, a negotiator is what it is. Now you say, if, yeah, just stand up in the pool with the water. If you think you're getting uh, water up your nose, don't be afraid of that. Just wait if you need to wait. Nice chart, gonna fly, which I actually think that one's already on the watch list. Uh, damn, how are you? <laughs> uh, E-N-P-H, P-H. That's a P and that's an H. There we go. Uh, e N P H I, I round a bottom breakout. I just love these charts charts. That's in a downtrend. You get that big gap to the downside. The smart money starts stepping in or the patient money here. It lifts it right up. We're setting up a good little chart pattern right here. Uh, my trade round a bottom breakout. That's what it is. Doesn't mean the price is going to get up there. That's just the playing field, whether or not we can run all the way at that end of the field is a different question, but that's what I want to play in. We can clearly say there's, see there's resistance and a target up here about 213.65. So, um, way to go on that solar front. I'm still holding SPW, SPWR. There we go. I'm still holding SPWR. So I'd sure like to see the whole, the whole solar gang lift up for a while. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, hey, Winslow, how are you? Um, crowd, crowd, crowd's looking good. See, that's another one. Beautiful chart. Lots of upside. Let's take a look at the weekly, week, week, weekly chart. Um, weekly chart here. We're cutting through the 200 and the dotted deuce. That's pretty cool. So I think what I'm going to do is run my line up about right here. I like right here and right in this area for a target. So let's just shoot back over to that daily chart. And that makes for a pretty good target. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it makes for a pretty good target right there. Um, that's an absolute buy. No question about it. Nice. CF long. Um, man, you guys, you guys are picking some nice charts here. Uh, you really are. Now it's just time to uh, manage those charts. Uh, excellent. Nice downtrend here. We've lifted up just going sideways. We're in that rounded bottom breakout. Um, Sophie, um, Sophie here, Sophie, a little bit parabolic pulls back. I want to see a buy signal in here. Um, that that's a bit, that's a bit parabolic for me, but that, you know, that doesn't mean it can't be traded. Let's get rid of all that. There we go. What we need to see is that buy signal in here. And we want to see that follow through. Um, T, AT and T. Look at AT and T setting up. Now, for those, I mean, if you believe in what I believe in, like the major moving averages, and you've got the 200 here and the 50 here, and I don't have any others, any other moving averages here. Uh, the T line is there, I guess. Trindicator is moving average. But just looking at that, the next jump for this chart is to jump for that 50 period moving average, just like that. AT&T. Nice, nice. Hey, good morning, Doug. How are you? Yeah, it could be a crazy day. For I, I saw you posted that too. Uh, 4.2 trillion in, exp in options expiration today. Could be a crazy day. Um, yeah, <laughs> could be. Be on your toes. Um, so, yeah, be on your toes. Uh, CNP, CNP. Uh, CNP is setting up. I don't like it. I'm, you know, not gonna lie there, not gonna lie to you, John. 
Uh, I don't like it. I don't like all these dark candles and it's a little too wicky for my taste. That's okay. Um, you know, somebody likes, some people, some people like uh, Speedo swimsuits and some people don't. And, uh, well, I just don't. I don't like the wicks. I don't like the dark candles. After that, you have a trend here. You have an intraday belt hold trying to move up. And you have your target is just slightly above you here. Okay, the last one I'm going to look at is A-Firm. And then time for me to go. Uh, A-Firm a means more work to me, Barry. I, I don't... Too, too much bearishness here for me. So I just need more... I need more proof that the bulls are truly still around. Uh, nice trend. Uh, certainly wouldn't give up on it yet. Certainly would not give up on it. I just want more positive price action, I guess, is what I would say. Anyway, thanks for helping out, guys, because I did not have anything prepared today. You will see you back here in about 25 minutes. The market will be opened up. And let's have a great day, okay? You guys take care. Thanks again for being here.